you know, sisters, when we see you seated here, we are very proud of you. I don't think it's every woman that has the courage to go into politics, but to see the way you articulate issues and defend your countries really touches our hearts. I want to encourage you to continue doing the good work. You know, you are not just there for yourself, but you are there for the women of your country. And so you have our support. Um, I'm glad that uh, God has uh, given me this position and I've had an opportunity of interacting with your first ladies. You have amazing first ladies. And uh, just to see women like you from their countries also supporting the work that they do uh, really tells us that um, when women come together and then uh, nothing is impossible for them. So we pray for you and continue going. Uh, please keep going. That is where we want to see you. Keep going. Uh, let the East African Parliament not be the end, but continue doing things to just, um, you know, change the lives of many people. Let me leave you with the words of the great Mwalimu Julius Nyerere, who said, and I quote, unity will not make us rich, but it can make it difficult for Africa and the African people to be disregarded and humiliated as it will therefore increase the effectiveness of the decisions we make and try to implement for our development. My generation led Africa to political freedom. The current generation of leaders and peoples of Africa must pick up the flickering torch of African freedom, refuel it with their enthusiasm and determination and carry it forward." End of quote. May the words of the East African anthem always inspire us to build and protect our East African region. I quote, Jumuiya yetu sote tulinde, tuwajibike, tuimarike, umoja wetu ninguzo yetu, idumu jumuiya yetu. The recent success of our joint bid to host the African Cup of Nations 2027 under the Pamoja bid comprising Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania serves as a testament to the fruits of our partnership. None of our individual countries would have achieved this milestone alone. This event should spark a resultant growth in our economy, transport infrastructure, ease of movement, and ease of doing business with each other. My dear sisters, I urge each of you esteemed legislators to double your efforts in fast-tracking the implementation of the drivers of our region's development. By doing so, we can position the East African community as a globally preferred destination for investors and the gateway to the rest of Africa. As members of the East African Legislative Assembly, we bear a critical responsibility for shaping the future of our region. Our overarching goal is clear to transform the East African community into a stable, competitive, and sustainable low middle income region by 2030. However, we must remember that this journey cannot be undertaken alone. As the proverb wisely states, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We will achieve our objectives as a region if we consider our collaboration sacred. My dear sisters, as a region, we are faced by common challenges that transcend our geographical boundaries. For example, not enough women are empowered. Access to quality health care is still a problem, and unemployment rates are high, especially for our youth and women, to name but a few. Women and children are more affected by this and more challenges. This requires us to apply a lens that favors them as we design various interventions for the East African community. This month is International Women's Month, an extension of International Women's Day, which we celebrated last week with the theme, Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. We acknowledge the importance of gender equality and the need to accelerate women empowerment in our societies. When we empower women, we catalyze development in all aspects of life and ultimately transform families, communities, our countries, and the whole region. Let us use our platforms to empower women, 
utilize our youthful workforce and protect our children. If we jointly tackle our common challenges and utilize our human capital and natural resources productivity, we will chart a new course towards a brighter future for the citizens of East Africa community. Together as a region, boosting a population of over 302 million with significant urban representation, we possess the potential to become a formidable force on both the African and global stages. The East African Legislative Assembly has an opportunity to create a conducive environment for our young people to become economically productive and empower women to contribute to the development of our nations. And one of the initiatives we have as the Ala Women Caucus is cross-border women, supporting cross-border cross women traders. Because as you know, integration, regional integration is mainly about trade. And majority of East African people are women, over 50% are women. And 65, over 60% 60 of cross-border border traders are women. But then we know most of them are informal traders. They have very limited capital. They don't have access to credit. They are struggling on the borders to try to make ends meet. And of recent, because of COVID-19, many of them no longer even have capital, and they are the ones who are feeding their families, their pillars in their families. So this is one of the area that for us as Ayala Women Caucus, we need to focus on so that we can make a difference, especially in raising awareness about the benefits of integration. You know, like at the border, if you are trading less than 2,000 US dollar, there is a special regime that allows these women or these pe people in this category to do their trade without paying any duties. We want to meet you because we come from different uh, partner states. We are leaders, we are people representatives, we hear a lot of concerns being brought to us. We thought we can't carry it alone. We wanted to come to you to say, you know, we are organized as women uh, caucus, but we want you to know us, that with you in partnership, we'll be able to do a lot. In fact, we are your other hands, the extra hands you need to do some of the things you need to do. Today's world, most of the people are self-employed. And you find that in that self-employed area, most of the women are there. And most of the women are also engaged in um, um, non-informal uh, businesses. And there are so many challenges facing them. If we don't work to, re, you know, to remove those obstacles, they will not be able to move forward. So we think uh, that is a very important area. Besides every successful man, there is a woman, and none other than our first lady, who has really worked very hard to gel together and to unite this nation, and especially the mothers of this country. So thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. It's just five days ago that we had the Women International uh, Day in this country, and you've heard the members appreciate what His Excellency did for us in Iyala and in East Africa, and we're very grateful. And so we look forward to working with you. We look forward for you being a mother of East Africa community and more so the caucus of women who are in parliament in Iyala. I just want to reassure the members that uh, together with my colleague, uh, we will do everything possible to ensure that uh, the East African community is engendered. We've also been able to lobby for uh, changing laws, new bills, etc. Areas where the government maybe is not very responsive. The Women's Caucus has been able to lobby. We have uh, brought private members' bills, and I think that uh, the members here can do the same thing. So you can count on me, you can count on Penina, you can count on all of us to do our work to make sure that uh, East Africa is engendered. Mulingangana, na mumepata, na mpo katika meza za mamuzi. Kujua hatma ya mwanamke kiongozi. Si wa Kenya, si wa Tanzania, si wa Rwanda, si wa Somalia, si wa Congo, si wa Uganda. Bara Afrika nzima wana watazamia njini kuonyesha mwilikio. Kwa hilo, na wapa
Vile vile nilikuwa fursa hii kumshukuru first lady wetu wa mataifa. Village for Ruto. Amekuwa kipao mbele mfano mema. Hasa kwa wanawake sisi wa Kenya. Ya kwamba ukiwa na imani, ukiwa na bidii na upweka Mwenyezi Mungu mbele basi mambo yananyoka. Sisi tunamtegemea sana kwa maombi. Na sio maombi yale ya bure tu. Kenya hii tumekabiliwa na kiangazi muda mrefu sana. Lakini ile siku alijitokeza akasema jamani tupigeni magoti, tumnyenyekee Mwenyezi Mungu tuombe na akaonyesha kwa mfano. Amini msiamini mvua ilinyesha taifa hili. Kuanzia siku hizo swala la bala njaa hapa nchini tumeweza kulikabili.